everybody welcome back to my channel it's daya here um today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different it's going to be a reaction video to one of my um videos i used to have on my old channel that i am no longer using <laughs> but it was a makeup tip from years ago that i got inspiration from like another youtuber and i was like well let me try this out and make a video about it and um now that i'm more aware of makeup better makeup tips and stuff like that i figure i you know i figure why not go back to my old videos with you guys and share what i've learned and verse um uh, verse what i know now um what i what i knew back then so without further ado this is my um my video that I did, like it's called Eyebrow Slay for Beginners. <laughs> um, this was like, oh my gosh, this is like literally four, five years ago. Well, like four and a four and a half to three years ago. Um, so four years ago, I'm sorry. And it's just been it's it's been a really long time. So I can't wait to see how much I've changed also, and like I said, what I know now. So let's get started. Hello, Day of the Slayer here. So, are you new to makeup or just want to figure out how to make your eyebrows pop? Well, stay tuned. I gotcha. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to say how much um, weight I've lost since then. It looks like I used to be, um, mm, I want to say 188, 190. And um, now I'm like at 139, 140. So, uh, I've lost a lot. <laughs> lost a lot of weight since then. Um, you can see it in my face too. What you're gonna need is tweezers. And the girls are out. Mascara, <laughs> either brown or black, whatever you prefer. Brown pencil. Well, this is when my hair was Once blonde again, brown, and blonde and black, black too. Gentle, you so um, concealer. I used Revlon, but you can use whatever you want, whatever brand. Um, a few Q-tips for precision. precision. And of course, a mirror. You're going to want a mirror to know. To oh my God, I look like I was looking at my nose. If there were any boogers in there. <laughs> All right, so this is like the music part where I'm just literally showing a sped up version of how I did this tip. This is kind of like a, this is kind of like a uh, me pulling my leg <laughs> video. Because I, I gotta admit, like I did good, you guys will see, but still, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. That's the whole idea, the length to go this far to get some brows. So I line tweezers with my brows and kind of like drag that um, mascara because I had painted mascara on the tweezers and then drag it across my brow. Um, which is, it forms like a brow shape, but I have no idea yeah. what I was thinking, y'all. Yep, and then I did it to the other side. Did it to the other side. I always like to dance in the camera too, and like <laughs> dance and like sing as I'm doing my makeup. I usually would like play music. That's actually what I'm doing probably. I have music, but um, like actual artist music that um that are like big and famous or whatnot. Probably Cardi B, because that's all I used to blast. Um, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Actually, no, because it wasn't Cardi B then. Who was it? It was probably Nicki Minaj or somebody. Um, but yeah, but I have to, I, I even knew back then, like, to just block that music out. 
whenever I do these. And I'm also talking to myself <laughs> here. But yeah, you see, I fill them in with the like brow pencil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab, grab my concealer. And I put a lot, I put a lot on there in my Q-tip. And I didn't have, I didn't have like the brushes and all that kind of stuff. And plus my channel primarily started off as like a beauty tip show um, for moms who couldn't afford stuff, you know what I mean? Like afford the big makeup products like Fenty and um, L'Oreal and all that kind of stuff. So I was just like, oh, you know, them brushes are expensive too. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Q-tip because I feel like it does kind of the same, not too much the same job because, you know, the brushes we have in everything on point, <laughs> the precision factor is way better. But Um, I'm just using my Q-tip to blend it in, blend in that concealer, and I went ahead and grabbed like a sponge type of thing to go ahead and um, blend that in. My hand was in the way. Oh, let me pause this. So, okay, um, so this is another terrible thing that I was like not good at when I first started a channel was not understanding that if I'm going to do makeup, I need to let the people see me doing my makeup. So a big mistake I would do is put my hand in the way as I'm like doing this and this and that or whatever. And then I would go to edit it and be like, oh my gosh, they missed like most of me putting my, like most of the part where I put my eyeshadow on or when I put my mascara on because my big ass hand <laughs> was in the way. Um, and so I had to type in the video and edit it in the video to where I said, sorry, my hand is in the way because I already knew that that was terrible quality of the video for me to have my hand all up in the camera when, um, and being selfish, looking in the mirror instead of looking in the camera or having a mirror in front of the camera so that I can show you guys what I was doing. So it's just pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you want your channel to thrive and you're going to do makeup tutorial videos, do not rob your audience of not be, being able to see your beautiful face doing the makeup, okay? Um, so yeah, don't make that mistake, guys. Not like I did. So I'm blending, blending, blending. Um, but you'll see what I what I meant by like the uh, Q-tips kind of making them blend, making the concealer blend pretty good, you know. And then with that sponge, so I went ahead and finished blending everything. Then I went ahead and grabbed my mascara to shade in the rest of my eyebrow. And the color I had was black in mascara in this video. But you see, I'm just like, I'm trying not to use too much, just a light brush of color. Checking myself out, trying to see if, if it looks good and full. And uh, I matched, I matched both sides. It says, I'm so extra. <laughs> I am extra. Oh my gosh. But that's what this video is for, to share my beginning stages, my awkward phases of makeup, uh, hair and beauty. So I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, share, you gotta do get this out there get this viral <laughs> uh, maybe you know somebody at work or at school or something that would learn how to get
get the brows together. Wow. So Those things so are probably watching. filled with milk. I'm <laughs> just like. I never had eyebrows. Oh my god. Uh, as a child. Oh. So I'm glad I learned how to start doing the brow thing. Yes. Fun fact. I got teased for a number of things as a child, but one of them was that I was bald on my face because I didn't have eyebrows. Um, I've never had to get my eyebrows shaved, never had to get them plucked, ever. Like, these are the same hairs on my face that I've had since I was a baby, y'all. That's how much I don't have eyebrows. Um, and you know what? That's okay. I'm okay with that because I, I heard that once you start plucking those hairs, they grow like a bush and um, I'm okay with having to fill in some hair rather than having to uh, shave every three days. So, <laughs> um, but as you can see, like the concept behind it was pretty good. Um, it came out, I'd have to say it came out pretty okay. It came out pretty okay. So yeah, if you were bald on your face, like me, <laughs> then um, there you go. I'm glad I could help. Have a blessed day. Okay, so um, in honor of me being so adventurous and brave to post a video like this on YouTube, um, we're going to recreate that tip. So I'm gonna see if I can actually um, copy what I did and see how it goes. And so I got my eye pencil, my mascara, my tweezers, and my mirror, mirror, mirror. <laughs> um, all right, so as you guys saw, and I'm not gonna do the whole concealer and thing and all that. I'm just gonna simply like show you guys see show you guys if it actually works still for me or not because I haven't done it in a while so let's 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 recreate this so I went ahead oh my gosh this already looks a mess um I grabbed my mascara and like I did in the video I'm gonna paint the tweezers with it <laughs> like so on the not sharp pointy part because if you could tell on tweezers, there's a pointy part, and then on the other side, there's not so pointy part. Um, but, okay. Oh my gosh, all right, so, like, like I said, you don't want to uh, rob your audience of being able to see uh, your beautiful face, so I'm gonna do this like this. As you guys see. <laughs> oh wow that actually but then I would have to fill it in so let's see how that looks when I fill it in that's so funny okay and um like I said I'm just shade so on this side, I'm gonna do that method, and then this method, and then on the other side, I'm gonna show you how I actually put on my makeup, my eyebrows, in the year 2021. Because that was 20, what, 18? Yeah, 2018, 20, 17, something like that. This is how I use. I put it on my other side. Um, I mean, you how I usually put it on on this side is I just outline the natural shape of my brow and then shade in the rest um, and whatnot. And I'm mad. I'm mad that the tweezer method is actually coming out better. Which, moral of the story is, I still suck at eyebrows. <laughs> I even tried to get an eyebrow, um, like, stamper. 
dental thing. And it was a no. It did not fit. It, none of the shapes fit my face. Like I just felt like one was one was like way too arched. Um or whatnot, but OMG. Okay, so I don't know what you guys think, but <laughs> so this is how I usually would do my eyebrow. And this is how I would how I did it with the tweezers. So you guys um let me know which way you think came out better. Which are you going to try this way from now on? Um, I think I kind of will. Um, and just like master it better or something. Or maybe I can just get better at freaking doing my eyebrows <laughs> by actually taking the time um, instead of a quick way. But you guys let me know what you think in the chat box below. Like I said, if you're going to try this method with the tweezers or which way you think came out better and did it really quick but um i hope you all enjoyed this reaction video stay safe be good remember i'm happy to be here with all of you and just yeah return back stay tuned for a bunch of other content like this a bunch of reaction videos bye